So this is the information for the project. Um, now we need to draw a gun chart. So to make everything a bit quicker and easier, in this case what I'll do uh, is just to more like to redesign um, the entire of this. Okay. So we're going to draw the gun chart. Let's take it from here. Let's take it from here. Okay. So that's fine. So now to draw the gun chart, what we are going to do is basically just to let's just take the same information, then we just add the the duration, the weeks. Okay, let's put it there. So just just uh, bear with me a bit here. So we're going to draw this gun chart. I'll just take the same information that is there, and then we we just include the dates to be here. So we're going just to have one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, with eight. With nine, with ten, eleven, with twelve, um, thirteen here, fourteen. And remember, we already worked on the uh, network diagram for this project, so uh, we already have an idea that it ended on the fifteenth week. You remember that in our previous uh, work. So this is in weeks. So we have that this information is given in weeks, uh, the duration. So what we do, let me just indicate this. This is weeks. So now by looking at the uh, data information that is given there, you see activity A, which is to build internal component. It's two, uh, it's going to take us two weeks to do that. So, um, going to take us two weeks so two so we, we just highlight this it's going to take us two weeks so two weeks by, by the second week we will be able to finish this project okay then we move on to again uh, B there's no predecessor so meaning it should start immediately it does not link to A in any way so activity B as well comes there but it's going to take us three weeks so only by the end of the third week so it does not <coughs> link to a in any way it also begins immediately um, so you have now this then you have um, activity C which is to construct collection stack activity C is dependent on a so you see the Activity C, the predecessor is A. So what you do is, you come to activity C, you link it to where A has ended. So A ended on the second week, you see there? So that's where um, activity C should begin. So let me just show you that. So activity C should begin here. And it's going to take us two weeks. So two weeks, it's up to the fourth week. So that's how you do it there. Okay. Then activity D, you have D there, it's dependent on A and B. So in this case, is that um, both activity A, this is activity A, and B must be completed before activity D can begin. So what you do is, you see there are two activities, you take the one which, which finished last. So in this case, B finished on the third week, whereas A finish on the second week, so so D cannot uh, start where A has ended because we still have B running. So what you do there is that uh, you take now B, which is uh, sorry about that. Um, so we take you come to activity B where B ended, of which B ended here. So it's where you link D to. 
So activity D is going to take us how many days? Oh, sorry, weeks. It's going to take us four weeks. So this is week one, week two, week three, week four. This is the fourth week. So we're going to finish that uh, particular activity in the seventh week of our project running. So um, that's what you do there. Remember, there are two predecessors, A and B. So you take the one that finished at, in the end. So there will be cases also whereby A could have maybe finished by the seventh week as an example. So you needed to, in that case, you take, um, uh, of course, the latest time that whichever activity that you are, that are combined, you take the one that finished in, in the latest time. So that's what uh, you have to do there. So activity E uh, is dependent on C. So again, you see, activity E is here, but it's dependent on C. You come to C. And C ends here. And that's where activity E should begin. And it has four weeks. So you link that up again. So week one, week two, week three, week four. So this is so this activity will be completed by the eighth week of our project. Um, so there you go, right there. Yeah, so and again uh, you look at that, then you come to F, activity F, which is to install pollution control system. Again, it's dependent on C. So, just as it was with E, this activity has to begin right there. So, but then it has, uh, this one only has three weeks. Uh, activity duration is three weeks. So, it's week one, week two, week three. There we go. Go like that. There you go. There we go. So this is um, basically a gun chart for the Milwaukee paper manufacturing project. Um, now when you go to G, G is dependent on activity or the predecessor is D and E. And remember what we discussed about. So this activity D and this is E. But remember you must take this to both. This two activity has must be completed. Is two. So you take the one with the latest finish, way, way by it finished in last. So here, in this case, we have to link it to E because that's the latest um, activity to finish among the two. So now, meaning we have to now link activity G from where E has ended since it has the so one that finished last between D and E. So that's why we link it up. Um, and this activity is going to take us five weeks. So week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So this is the fifth week. You see right there. Um, this is when activity G. Uh, sorry, there. Let me just. Uh, two, three, four, five. So it's the fifth week of that activity is going to represent our thirteenth week of the project uh, duration. So that's when G is completed uh, as an activity. Now, moving on to our last activity, which is activity H. Um, it involves now the ins inspection and testing. So for that particular activity, it's, it's dependent on the predecessors is F and G. So when it's two predecessors, so it's F, F and G, so these two. So, you see F ends on the 7th week, whereas G ends on the 13th week. So we have to take link it from the 13th week. That's when both um, activity are assumed that they are all both uh, completed. So we, we take now H, so it links up here, coming to H. So there we go, then um, it takes 2 weeks to complete. So week 1, week 2. So this project is going to be completed by the 15th week. So uh, there we go. You see, that's now the gun chart for this project. Now, um, with this project as well, what I mean by using the gun chart, we did this uh, as just a revision. Um, now to, to look at this, what we can do is that we observe here that uh, activity A, which is this one, 
um, let me just use probably red or yellow so this is two weeks it links up to so we need to find uh, a link that takes up takes us up up to the end so let me just use green maybe so we have this so we have now this network here I know a lot will say that there's no you can also view a network basically you can see the linkages um, here you see this link it's linking up up to the end you see this one this links up to the end so we're going to have another one which is now uh, from here so it's it represents B comes there it comes um, sorry sorry let me just start all over again so it starts from B it links up to D then it goes and links up to um, uh, then it ends somewhere where is that so this one ends here this one it ends here so it does not have any link towards the end so the one that you see in green in green represents now uh, you see that it's activity A then it comes to what activity to C if you can see that very well it skips B because it does not link it B still um, it does not link to B in any way but then here it comes and links to C you wait the way C ended then you see it links again to uh, we have E here you see there's another linkage here though that comes up to F but it ends there but then let's follow this one that takes us all the way to the end so it comes to E so um, it comes to E uh, then where it, when E ends it links up to G you see there then where G ended it links up to H so if you go back to our and um, our example that we did you can see now that this A um, coming to C linking up to E and again linking up to G and then H you see that this represents now a critical path this also links up the clear path because it's leading us all the way to the end um, of the project. It's the only link that takes us all the way. So this also represents a critical path. It's also another way you can get it, the critical path from the gun chat. Some say otherwise, but yes, you can also get it from there. Again, there are three networks, which the one in yellow, you see B coming to... Um, D, then where D ends, then it links up to, and then it ends with F. So it does not complete. But then in this case, you take the one that completes that uh, root or path now, now becomes also your critical path. So then again, it takes um, 15 weeks for this project to finish. So I hope you learned uh, something again out of this.